But it's now being revealed that Sadiq Khan is investing £150 million on a secret technology. Uh, the project is capable of charging motorists the pay per mile road tax called Project Detroit. As in, it, just call it Project <laughs> London. A series of freedom of information requests show 157 staff are now working solely on the scheme, with some engineers being paid more than 100 grand a year. So what do you think? Do you agree with pay per mile, Nigel Nelson? On a, as a principle, mm. yes. I mean, we're, we're taking, the, taking aside uh, London, I think you're right, by the way, Project London sounds mm. much better. Um, th there, are, there are things you can do with it. A, it's a way of actually uh, meeting our target of net zero, which would be um, because it might cut down people's mileage. Secondly, if it replaced certain things, like petrol duty would go, could go down, mm. ULEZ could be scrapped, congestion charges could be scrapped, and the people who do the most mileage miles pay the most, which seems to me not unreasonable. In other, other walks of life, the more you use something, the more you're likely to pay. So it means mm. that those people, say, the el elderly who don't do... who only do a few miles running down to the shops, pay running. very little, and they businesses pay an awful lot. They won't be running to the shops and they probably won't be able to afford the car to begin with anyway. Claire? Yeah, well, it's an utter nonsense and project <laughs> tax might be a little bit more yeah. uh, relevant to it. It's just a money making scheme. Sadiq Khan hasn't got enough money uh, to, to keep London running, so how's he going to get it? Oh, I know, let's go for the motorist. It's not enough that you've got the but congestion the charge, it's not mile. enough that but you've got ULEZ. And, and just the expansion of ULEZ on its own is, is a massive irritant for those who live on the borders of London. So to have pay per mile, that means that he is going to be in the knowledge of where you've been, what time you went, how long you are out. But they are at the moment <laughs> anyway. We've got cameras all over London. But this just gives another added go. level of surveillance on a oh. motorist. And what about if you have um, a low polluting car? Such, I have a low polluting car. Well, why should I pay the same as then somebody who's got a high polluting car? I mean, it's just ridiculous. I don't but, but, think but we, we, we need to we're start taxing the, the motorist any yeah. further than is but, already but, happening. But rather than, than criticising specifically this London scheme, it is whether or not pay per mile is worth looking at. I mean, that your no. party's been looking at it before. But, I know, that, uh... and they've decided that it was a really bad idea <laughs> because you already pay road... Uh, the road fund licence, you, you already you, pay but that. those are the you things you can save on. That you, that you, you, you aren't going you to get those things back, are you? It's well, just going to add on top of it. Let's... But... No, no, no. Don't <laughs> say that you're going to reduce, <laughs> that something is going to be reduced, because we know full well if there is a tax involved, it's just going to add on top of it. It's not going to be instead well, of... Well, I'm being hopeful that the, the the Tories won't be quite as bad as that. And like might actually reduce experience. other taxes as a result of this. In France, if you drive around there, you, you're paying road tolls, which is a, effectively a pay-by-mile mile way of doing things. But a toll is different, because that is for specific motorways. If you drive through France, you can go on those motorways that are toll payments, or you can choose to go on the, the, the crowded, slower... The crowded not roads. Very, yeah, absolutely, but that up. is your choice in order to do it. No-one's forcing you to do it. I, You know, you and I live in a rural area. We have have no choice but to have a car. So therefore, you're you're quite happy with the government. But I do a lower mileage than you do because you drive because mostly. Because I do so all the driving. <laughs> so therefore, you'll be paying more. And you think that is perfectly acceptable? There is no. We don't have public transport, so that isn't even an option. And you're suggesting that you're quite happy just because I'm going to get hit by it, <laughs> that you're my passenger, or perhaps you'd like to walk everywhere, Mr Nelson. Very sneaky. Well, what do you think? I, I, I'm with you, Claire, I'm sorry, but it's another <laughs> raid, it's another tax raid, isn't it? Because what's happened is now too many people will be exempt from the congestion charge, and so now all the other charges that they've put in place, so now they want to find some other way of making money out of people, that's what this is about.